again, this is the CETA scan. This is on our MPI YouTube channel. You can check it out. We've done this a lot of times. But we want to check the SI joint. So my hand goes over the SI joint here. I challenge sagittally, laterally flex away, and challenge off of the uh, ilium off of the sacrum. So I'm challenging through the pocket. So sagittal through the femur, frontal plane through the pocket. Both of those palpations are going to tell you if the SI joint is restricted or not. And again, the Motion Palpation Institute, we talk a lot about end range palpating because that's where you can feel the most joint play um, with this. So again, try to get into joint play. This hand controls the motion. There's my end range. Now I joint play. If I joint play from here, it doesn't tell me anything. I have to get them into that end range, joint play, joint play. Let's have you lay on your side facing this wall. <clears throat> I'll have you come out here. <clears throat> Another way to palpate the SI joint is here. Put your hands over the SI joint, sacroiliac joint, here. Um, put a little bit of pressure through the femur, and then just joint play and feel for a gapping motion. So you should feel the ilium come off of the sacrum underneath your hand here. And then you move it through an arc, and then shear and joint play and see if you can feel some of that motion. If you can't, then we have hip external rotator tightness. We could actually do a release right from here where he resists my downward pressure and he lifts up. I block the pelvis, I block the lower part of the hip and then I shear the femur through the posterior capsule of the hip. And then I can go back and repalpate the SI joint. So we have a seated side lying. We actually have supine and prone ways to palpate the SI joint. But for this video, these are probably our best ones. We could even motion this out just put our hand over the SI joint and sweep through an arc here and just confirm where the restriction is. <clears throat>